Hey guys, Luke here, and uh, we're here to do another video. This is preliminary finals, uh, so let's get into it. Up against the Raiders. Hopefully we can uh, put the sword into them pretty early on. Um, they actually beat us twice in um, the regular season. Like I don't remember us like four times that entire season, and two of them were against the Raiders. So it's quite annoying, but uh, we'll do with that. And we'll go out there and we'll destroy them if uh, everything goes well. Which I hope it does. So you Jonathan Thurston. Um, I think at this point, I haven't really got any topics to talk about. Um, don't see the point of it. I just want to win. I get, don't want to get too distracted. So uh, here's the semi-finals. Uh, let's see, here's our lineup. Oh no, no. I went and changed the, the team lineup before I started the recording. So we had all our main starters, James Graham, all that. Uh, but it looks like when I got back out of it, and it's uh, changed. So look at this lineup here. Cornish at half, that quite interesting. Race problem center fullback. Um, yeah, no Milford. So Milford must be rated pretty terrible on this game. Um, I suppose he would be, but I thought Cornish should be. I don't know. Here we go. Or maybe Reese Robinson is just rated very well. Although Rapana's on the bench. But then I made Rapana, so I probably overjudged him because I made him at the start of the year for the World Cup. Alright, so errors is what we got to cut down errors. Like we did last game. Nice run there. Uh, we'll go into Tom here. Another good run there. You just go out and then you go in behind the markers. Is what I tend to do. Except this time. Oh, I thought that was an intercept there. Didn't turn out to be an intercept, but not very good nonetheless. And boy, there's a knock on somewhere in there. Uh, I can hear Gaskill saying that's just poor ball handling. I'd say, oh, I agree. As well as glitch by the game. Like, there's so many times, it looks like it hits their leg. But it ends up um, doing like a full knock on. Like, it literally is like impossible for him to touch the hands. But yeah, whatever. So they're on the, well, they're not on the attack, but they're closest. The closest number we got, I suppose. But here they are. Oh, that was lucky. Umbaya coming across. Hopefully, the recordings are right. I think I s Oh no, what a kick by them. Um, so I'm doing it once again on my um, new capture card. And I listened back to it before and I think I've got it pretty much how it was before. Like with the doing it separately and shit. So I don't think it's too much different. Hopefully everything's alright. Been out on that Phantom score. He's the most useless forward in the game. In attack. In defence, he's probably the best. <laughs> well, stats-wise. Alright. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a try. Josh Jackson. Will race away. What a try. Um, got lucky. We got lucky that um, the pass went to ground, but I've done that plenty of times, so it's about time we got one of those back. And what a time to do it, too. Dick Casiano must have sprinted onto the field to go celebrate. Um, we could have, we could have uh, like held off a little bit um, towards the end. Probably could have ran the last 30 just at a jog, but I didn't. And I probably should have because we're trying to conserve some energy because lots of the players are tired. Like when I eventually make the sub spring on um, Tony Williams and all that, you'll see how tired they are. I think that's a good, that's a good thing about playing with this Bulldog side. The luxury of having like really good forwards on the bench. So Finucane, I should say, not Finucane. Here we go. Uh oh. We stuffed that up. We should have scored there. I thought for a second. Oh, we actually might salvage this. Uh, once again, that could have been an intercept, but it wasn't, so it's good. Umbaya, Jackson, into a hole. So we're going to go to Hawkinson here. Actually, we'll go with Grubber himself. 
and we get a, another set of six here. I discovered this um, not that long ago uh, in the south, it's probably like the last season that you can actually do that quite effectively. So, uh, uh oh, I oh know, good work, Parrot. Alright, I'm going to go to Josh Morris. Can't step his way through. Um, uh, stepping doesn't really work on this level, so. I should have just um, tried for the barge. Here we go, Finucane. Couldn't palm off another play out, so we're going to go to Hawkinson uh, out here on the right. And there we have, there's a try. Just a, a dummy and then a pass. Re oh, that's probably like my favourite way to score in this game. Um, all throughout my other career modes, everything. Just let's see, watch the dummy. Boom. Goes to the line. Through a hole. Draw a one player. I mean, in the game it doesn't really do much. But it looks cool. Um, and in real life, that sort of stuff works. Um, just a quick dummy like that can do can mean the world of difference. Uh, so we should probably make some subs. Look how tired they are. Tolman being the exception. But I'm not sure if he got injured throughout the season, I forget. Jackson probably got the best stamina out of all these lads. T-Rex can play the whole game too, but we just don't. It's a nice run here by Parrot. Uh, pretty good kickoff by them. I mean, don't really say that too often, but yeah, nice little kickoff. So we're going to go to Jackson. No, we're not. Tolman is where we're going to. Oh, that, what a great run there by Ennis. Well, not a run, but play the ball. Oh, is it out the full? Is it? I think it is. Yeah. I suppose we should have, we should have to stop the play and uh, get a replay to check that, but we can't do that, unfortunately. Oh! And they're taking the tip point. That's okay, I'm fine with me. We'll just give away penalties every time they're on the attack. This is almost like a, the, if you see my rugby league manager series, it's still up there. I didn't end up finishing it because I uh, lost the game and like, like lost my save, so I couldn't do it. But if you go check, there was one where a team could have, they were behind by four points or something. Instead of going for the win, they took two points and ended up losing <laughs> for some reason. It's like in, in their game, um, go for the two points no matter what. Oh, and Ennis put the big hit on Sean Phantom. Actually, Ennis, probably, uh, probably a good thing he didn't sign with Raiders, although Sharks are not looking any better for next year. Looking dreadful for next year, let's be honest. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So, yes, Andrew Voss, the first half is all over. Uh, let's go straight into the second one. I think there was tries to Jackson and... Lafayette, I think that was the try scorers, and then get the conversion with Hawkinson, um, and their one was, I don't know, I forget who there was, and why is Butcher's half, like a half, or playmaker, I should say. Uh, oh yeah, theirs was Camp Easy, I think, the goal. Which is kind of strange, because Croker's been their goal kicker for the last few years, but for some reason he's not rated that well. Or is Croker even in the side? And there we have it, forward pass by them. Uh, something that's very good for us, like I said, at the start of the game, we're going to be looking at no errors sort of thing. And so far, so good, I think. And here we have, oh, it's palms off one. Is that Croker? That is Croker there. Oh, I thought Ennis was going to score there. We've got, we've got an overlap here. Uh, we got super lucky there. Um, and it was never supposed to go to Jackson, but he picks up his second try there. And we're running right here, let's be honest. Too easy. Boom, Josh Jackson scores. Um, had enough time. Like, I was like, oh, do we take it infield a little bit? But decided against it. Probably a good decision. Although the kick's going to be a little bit harder. Is it across the face of goal? No, it's not. And I just bumped the mic from my hand. You probably heard that. I'm not sure how sensitive it is, if it's any more sensitive uh, than the others, or what. Also, can someone leave in the comment? I don't know if you should know, but on my, I use Turtle Beach headsets, um, and I used to have like a little like fluffy thing that went on the top of it, and I lost that. And I want to know, does that make a difference to the sound? 
Can someone lay that into the, in the comments? Like the whole time I've been on here, it's oh, we lose the ball. I'm gonna get it back. Wow, wow, wow! Super lucky for the Raiders, but I'm gonna go to the Hocko. I thought we could run around them there, but obviously not. But we got Big Kaz, Big Sammy, can run onto this. He doesn't run onto it actually, and we get owned for it. On by kicks for himself. Finds Eastwood. Oh, not the greatest play there, but whatever. So the Lafayette picks up the ball here. Eastwood holding down. I'm not sure. I know with the different time lengths, I mean, I mean you can't hold it for as long. So that could be a problem with me holding on to players for very long, but I'm not sure exactly uh, the time the time I can hold on to the players um, with such a short game. I think they're like the 10 minute games, 10, 10 minute halves or something, or whatever. Whatever the shortest one is, might be five. Um, so all our players out on the left. I thought we might have been able to get around him. We're going to go out to Hawkinson. And Corey Thompson up the sideline. Nice little play there. If we use the hands, probably could have scored there, but we want to make it more realistic. I know saying realistic on this game isn't really viable, but as realistic as possible. And Eastwood straight into a gap. And T-Rex pushes off one, passes too early, and I stuffed that up big time. But not to worry, let's go with Parrot. And Williams just couldn't get the pass off. Look okay, over NSE with the little grubber. And they get out, I think. Oh. Uh, not that happy with that, but what can you do about it? Once they hit the deck, it, you can't make a tackle. Which probably should be something that I should introduce into the next one. There's a big hit by Eastwood. We went for the big hit and we got it. Uh, so yeah, here's a drop ball. Oh, and we get a high tackle here. Damn, couldn't get there. Try. Uh, unlucky, but we might be able to get one here. Quick play of the ball. No marker. Oh, and we throw it intercepts. Just what we want. Umbai's coming across. He won't get to him. I wouldn't think so, anyways. And we throw it intercepts. God damn it. We should have scored. It should be a uh, Simbin for them. Whoever it was on the wing. Uh, probably Edric Lee. The guy who scored the try, so he shouldn't even be on the field right now. What a joke. This ref, oh, ice painted on. Oh well, we can't lose this one, pretty much. We've run all the players just so the next game uh, we won't have to do any changes or anything. As long as there's no catastrophic uh, ending to this, we should be alright. I mean, I'm pretty sure this they've got like maybe like this set and that's it. Because of how fast the time goes. And Campo gets destroyed there. Um, as he should be. Lafayette own him every day of the week. I would say these days. Thought there was a chance of him going over the sideline there. But obviously not. Intercept. There we go. I called it before it happened. And it definitely happened. And Gus says oh no 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 no. Oh, we can't score. Wow. I was so quiet there because I was like, oh, we're going to score. All of a sudden, I guess it was Reese Robinson just popped out it. Well, he didn't pop out of nowhere, but... Um, a lot more pace than what I thought, but... Well, so it's the game. Hard to judge. Reese Robinson is very fast, but, but just not that fast. No player should be that fast. Uh, so, here we're going to play in the grand final. Uh, my prediction is the Broncos. It is the Broncos. Uh, what a way to finish the season, taking on Benny Barber. I'm really looking forward to this. So, uh, yeah. So it's come to the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's no, like it's more gameplay based, but that's just how it's got to be for the finals. We don't want to lose. 
So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the um, video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave a comment um, on who you think's your predictions for the grand final. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See you in the next one.